the K10. We got a couple more things to do before this one's considered done. One of them being um, do the locking hubs. Um, once the locking hubs are done, then it's just a test ride. So for now, I'm going to get these caps off and start replacing the locking hubs. They aren't too hard to do, so it shouldn't take very long. Let's get to it. So that's done as you can see um i put a little bit of too much grease in there but oh well uh it went went pretty good and everything so now i'll just do the other side um once once i do the other side i uh think i'll start it up or check all my fluids started up and then uh take it for a ride see if it works see how it works Real quick while the truck was up in the air, it's hard to see. Uh, I don't think you'll be able to see it at all. Anyway, the kick down cable was, had that minor transmission leak and I fixed that, so. out here but um i got the truck out it's running pretty good um i'm gonna go for a ride i'll kind of put around the yard here a little bit and then i'll go up over the overpass and back um i, I do apologize my in camera or in cab kind of ride alongs kind of suck for uh camera wise and film wise um i'm working on that i'm getting there so i'm hoping maybe around springtime i'll have a better setup for that so Bear with me guys, I'm trying my best, but let's go for a ride and see how it does. Oh, more of a jump than a two-wheel drive.
feels good to be in this truck again. This has got to be my favorite truck. It rides the nicest. Even lifted, it rides better than the black, the little black truck that my dad drives in the winter time, and that's stock height. It drives the nicest, it runs nice. I put a different motor in it. Um, the other motor ran pretty good. Kind of regretting taking that one out. Actually, I'm kind of regretting taking that one apart. I took it apart and sold it, but. block first so should be in first there's second I don't feel third yet all right so I put the camera down because I noticed the traffic was gonna be busy and I didn't want to deal with any of that stuff um, so I don't want to cause a hazard I'm just here to show you guys some cool YouTube stuff so other than that I just checked the fluid because it seemed like it was shifting into third gear kind of late um, but right now I'm gonna run home I gotta grab some paperwork for this thing and put it in a glove box that I um, got in the mail a little while ago so I'm gonna run home and do that um, I'll kind of film on my way here to there see how it does now that I know the fluids good I'll maybe drive it a little more normal get on it a little more as, a, as if I was driving it normal so we can make sure everything's okay it's quiet, it's smooth. Most importantly, it sounds good. So I'm gonna head home, pull this thing out, shut the door, head home real quick and film a little bit on my way here and there and we'll see how she does. I went back and forth from the house a couple times. It runs good, it shifts good. Third gear is a little later than I'd like, but I think once it starts uh, to be run a little more, it'll be okay. Um, so right now the current issue I have was it was starting to get a little dark out, so I turned the headlights on. I'll even make it easy. I'll turn the key on like it's running, turn the headlights on. Now, I'll shut the door. The dome lights stay on dim. No side marker lights are on. Just the headlights. With the headlights switch all the way on. No clearance lights, nothing. Now if I back it, if I push it in one more notch, which should be everything, which should be parking lights, which will be everything but the headlights. Let's see what we have. Well, we got the dome light again. Uh, nothing at all. And no dash lights, no nothing, not, nothing at all up there. So, um, we gotta figure out what the heck that's about. Um, I'm gonna first of all, I'm gonna check the little connector on the back of the headlight switch. If that's not uh, working, I'll check the fuses, and if there's nothing wrong there, then I'm assuming it's a headlight switch. When I did pull it on though, I noticed my tack light and the dash lights came on for a split second and then went out. So it could be a fuse, could be anything. So I'm gonna dig into that and let you guys know what's wrong. Looks like I found the culprit. Come on camera. There she be. Balloon fuse. Um, I didn't try a jumper wire just to see for a split second if it would work. Um, but the test light wasn't reading and sure enough, fuse is blown. So I got to look around and see if I got a fuse. If not, I'm going to have to run and get one. Other than that, I'm hoping that fix the pro fixes the problem. But um, that's a minor thing. Something I can work on uh, on the side off camera. 
But other than that, I am really impressed with how this turned out. Um, no noises, nothing like that developing or anything. So I will keep you guys up to date with this thing if anything happens or how it goes or stuff like that. So you'll probably see this one quite a bit. It's going to be my daily driver, so you'll see me driving it around and fixing on it when it needs fixing. So that's going to be a wrap for the brown truck. Next up, the LS truck cam swap. We got an open lift. You know what that means. So um, we'll be getting to that one very shortly. I also want to put that other motor in this one. I'm hoping to do that before I tear that one apart so I can get this one out of here as well. So we'll have lots of content coming. There's plenty more to see. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, tell me how I'm doing. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.